for watching workshop wednesday episode two a uh, number of things happened this week one of them is all of this uh, ring wall bit that i showed you last week got filled in with the uh, gravel not going to talk about that right now i think i will do that in the next uh, workshop wednesday or whatever this uh, series is going to be called um, just because there's plenty to go over there this week i want to talk about this this is still an old foundation now there is uh, there is a cement floor in this it is however it's not reinforced so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour concrete over this you cannot just go ahead and pour concrete over it because it will of course just walk off the top and uh, that will be that so you need to do something in order to make sure it actually stays on top of that old slab of uh, a floor um, number of ways to do that one of them is uh, lay a row of bricks and uh, make sure that it's all uh, all sort of like watertight airtight so your new concrete doesn't flow out another one is make a box around it with like uh, wood not like this by the way uh, and then pour everything in one go now if the side of it is a tiny bit wonky you do risk uh, the concrete sort of like sagging out and once it starts to push out uh, the box with all the weight that you're going to pour on top uh, there's really no stopping it and you risk basically emptying that entire box before uh, the concrete has set the last one is uh, this one is basically pouring a ring wall uh, which is i think the easiest and the best way to do it you can also put some rebar in it which is also what i've done um, and then you just wait for a day until you can like unbox it that's also what we're going to do in, uh, in this uh, video um, so i poured this yesterday there's rebar in it uh, all of this is level so that means that i can take this off i can pour the concrete inside and afterwards i can use it to level out the entire new floor and uh, this will be good to go along with uh, the new section of floor Especially this area over here, this is one of the more problematic areas. This is a different uh, type of brick that they actually use. The rest of the wall is pretty much uh, solid concrete with, uh, with blocks of, uh, of granite. This is actually, I don't even know what this is, it's some old type of open structured concrete which got uh, damaged when I tore down the shed. So that's also what explains this extra uh, bit of wood down here. I'm going to pull this off, see what happens. Now this is actually where I had uh, the damage. This actually turned out really nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with this so far. Now that that uh, cross support is gone, the only thing really keeping this board into place is those uh, nails that actually ran into the concrete. So let's see what happens if I give it a mild pull. There we go. All of this is level, all of this is good to go, and all of this is good to uh, support that uh, wet concrete that I'm going to fill the floor in with.
Uh, perhaps you can tell behind me that I also boxed up that uh, section around uh, the basement opening right now. Uh, I am however going to cut it off right here because it's going to start to rain. I can't have a tripod out here with a camera. Plus, I want to make sure that this video is uploaded uh, on time for a workshop Wednesdays. So I hope this gives you a bit of an idea of uh, uh, how to improvise. We have, for example, an old foundation that you want to pour a new concrete floor on. There's a couple of ways to do it. I did it this way. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box. By the way, I really appreciate all of the kind words and all the kind comments that I got on my last video. Um, I cannot even start telling you how much that means to me after a tiny hiatus coming back to such uh, uh, a warm welcome. Uh, yeah, super cool. So thank you guys so much. I hope to see you next week. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, catch you later. Bye-bye.